What's up, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. Kikikita Edition! Wow, I was kind of going the wrong way first. Uh, okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I am going to go up here first, just because that, that makes sense, because then I keep on kind of heading right. Uh, I thought about it. I could go in here and grab a bunch of gold seas, but... You know what, I'll do that later, actually. I, I kept on internally debating about it, but this will be interesting to me because it is a different order than I initially did when I first played the game, and I like that. That's that's fun to me, to do something a little different. Uh-huh. Hold on. It's changing the label of this video because episode 26 was last time. Nice thing is I can just run through this. Actually, wait a second. Did I do this top camp here? I don't think I did, so might as well check into it, right? I'm pretty sure I did those other camps, though. I don't know why this guy didn't wake up, but I guess lucky me, right? Oh, whoops. Did I just plow through you with my R2s? Oh, man. Sacrificial twig. Oh, yeah, there is something I should mention, which I will get to in... You know what, let me pull out comments, because this is something that I screwed up on uh, just because I didn't know about it, so I apologize, and I think it's too late relating to patches. Um, so, no, wrong app. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up my YouTube studio so I can quickly look at comments. Langdell Soldier Countless. Nice. Okay. So, um... The road with the soldiers near the site of Grace with Bach, this is from Haitini, or Haitani, excuse me, has an invisible scarab beetle running around there. I just noticed it completely randomly because I was kind of AFK and noticed a little dust effect moving on the ground. At first I thought it was just a wind effect. Uh, attacked and completely forgot what it dropped. Near the site of Grace with Bach. Okay, I'll look back on that later. Um, from, I think it was uh, Yuki Desato. And I got the mentions from other people too. Uh, I missed patches who's supposed to kick you off of a cliff and i just didn't i never knew about it it didn't happen to me before and i'm assuming granted this could be wrong but i'm assuming that because i finished like patches little quest line that that's no longer going to be possible uh or i shouldn't say i finished his pat quest line i should say because he's at the volcano manor i'm guessing that doesn't happen anymore i had noticed in my main game that that message, the developer message disappeared, and I wasn't sure why. And, you know, that would actually pretty well explain why. I just want to make sure there's nothing up here. I know there's a church there, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Again, I'm just going to run over this way. Although, there is some stuff at the church I want to do. For example, Finger Hunter Yura's up there. You know, actually, maybe it does make sense to just do it right now. Because I think this is kind of like a way to drop down to it, so... Um, because it's kind of like in the middle of a cliff area in a way, and then I can just keep dropping down. The first defense of Landell, a sovereign alliance rots from within, traces yet remain of bloody conspiracy. Sovereign alliance rots from within Landell, traces yet remain of a bloody conspiracy. Um, I wonder if that bloody conspiracy has to do with the Lord of Blood. Just given the blood aspect. I mean, bloody conspiracy could just be... It was deadly, but... I don't know. Makes me wonder. Pretty sure you just die by dropping here. It does look a little too high for... Actually, wait. This area looks a little lower. This area is going to be fine. That's okay. And hopefully... I'll be able to go talk to Vike. And help him out. Oh, there he is. Nice. Okay. Sure. Second Church of America, we get another sacred tier, as that's the case, and here we go. All right, Yura. Eleanor, it seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please, Eleanor. The cesspit no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your soul. Your flesh. Your fire. 
Oh, I didn't know Yura died there. All right. Nagakiba. Let's take a look at that. I thought you could help him out, actually. Uh, that was my understanding. But I never... Wait, am I getting invaded right now? Yeah, okay. I'll have to remember Nagakiba. Uh-oh. I'm gonna keep doing some rolly attacks just because those tend to be pretty good. Oh, did you miss? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh god, oh god, ooh. Uh, bleed, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she, as you can see, she's a bloody finger and she's big in it. Um, she's actually a really important one to kill. I mean, I, I think. There's an item you get for her that I think really helps with one of the harder bosses in the game that I didn't know about until afterwards, so I hadn't used it, and I wish... I really wish I'd known about it. Oh my god, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me get away. Unfortunately, there's the dog after me. I don't mind her, it's just that I aggro that dog too. Okay, got it. Please. And cool. Alright. Will I? Nice. I honestly didn't think she'd be that stupid to keep on going into me, but that's what you get with NPCs, eh? No! No! Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Eleonora, why? Okay. Lucky me was just an NPC, because that wasn't the best. The Purifying Crystal Tear is the one here, uh, and Eleonora's Pull Blade. So let's look at the Purifying Crystal Tear, because I really want to talk about that. Uh, this isn't something I noticed until after I beat the boss it's associated with, but purifies the Lord of Blood's curse in a mixed physic. So the resulting concoction purifies the curse from Moog, Lord of Blood's terrifying rite of blood. So essentially, this boss that they're talking about will drain a bunch of your health, once before its second phase, which is far more difficult, and then have way more health for the second phase. And I'm guessing that this stops it from happening, but I didn't realize I had this until after defeating the boss, so um, I think that's something that would be really helpful. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and find my Yakisoba. <laughs> I wish that's what it's called. Naki Ke Nagakiba. Katana with a ferociously long blade, signature weapon of Yura, Hunter Bloody Fingers. Reminiscent of a reinforced spear, its imposing length can be put to good use with powerful thrusting attacks. Not really much there, but Eleonora's pull blade. Uh, twin Naginata forged in the land of reeds. Oh, so I guess that's why he would know her. They're both from the land of reeds, presumably. Her mastery of the sword was such that her onslaught was likened to a whirlwind. Now, but now her legacy is stained by accursed blood. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... Okay, I was just looking at the skills to see if there's anything interesting there. Something else I should note from you guys, and I'm sorry, I'm not sure where this comment is. Um, and it was like a little discussion that I had. Hold on. Actually, I want to find this because it's, it's a good discussion. So... Uh, okay, so Mad Danny West agreeing with Lexington show that the, the Finger Creepers were created by um, Rikard. And the other thing... Okay, another thing I want to bring up is I was talking about the, the flame guys before um, who watch over the flame. So, and I wasn't sure if they were with the side of Dell because I thought they were watching over the flame to help. I thought that was my impression of them, but I think I missed something. And Mad Danny West helped point that out. Okay, so I looked into it, and they were tasked with watching the flame, but then after gazing into the flame for so long, they started to worship it and basically ceased loyalty to the Erd Tree. They also started wearing iconography of the one-eyed fire giant god on their armor and using flame spells, which is considered heresy. So that explains a little bit further and a little bit better what's going on with the flame guys. And by a little bit, I mean a lot bit better. So, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about that because I thought that was important since I brought it up in a previous episode. Uh, just to get the, the truth out, you know? Because I'm still studying and learning this stuff, and you guys have a better grasp on some of this than me right now, so... Um, you know, I like learning all this stuff together. Okay, so something that we can do here, which is nice now, is I can... I didn't know about this until more recently, but you can just jump down these spirit springs. And, alright, so let's go ahead and go into this cave. 
I don't think there's a Sight of Grace on the way. Something that's different is it used to be a summon, um... Not a summon, what are they called? Like a puppet version of one of these trolls right here. And now it's a normal troll. So that was something that was actually patched in. Which... I... I guess there's not a lore reason they had the one before then, because... Although it was interesting, because you would kill the puppet one in one hit, and then get zero runes for it. So it was really interesting in a way, that that was there, and... I don't know, I, I just found it interesting. I was like, oh, I wonder if this means anything. Because it stood out so much, and I guess not, because they patched it away and changed it. So... Yeah, it is something that really stood out, though, to me, one of those patches where I was like, wait, that's an, a really interesting patch, actually, that they're implementing there. So I figured I'd point that out. All right, now we get to find out this cave, the old Altus Tunnel. Oh, sick, that means I can get some... Um, I didn't remember which, which one it was, although seeing a cave, it would make sense that it'd be a cave, but that's awesome. I should be able to get a bunch of smithing stones so I can upgrade my weapon, finally. It's kind of been a while, and I have some times six ones, so if I get some times fives here, then I'll be able to really pump it up. For a second, I thought I might actually miss that, so I'm glad it worked out okay. Always got to drop down the side in these dungeons. Always. Okay, I'm going to turn... Yeah. I was just turning off the... Uh, my light just because then you can see smithing stones a little bit better i feel when you're in these tunnels all right old altus tunnel here we come my memory of it is very low <laughs> so i must have been like i don't know had no trouble with it if i don't have any memory so we'll see if that continues to be the case how dare you ambush me pup how dare Probably should heal myself, but eh. Hey, summoning. Here we go. Smithing stone five. Nice, just what I needed. So let's see what I have. I ended up healing myself anyways. I probably need five more of these, and at least I have enough smithing stone sixes to get one more level up, because I have two. Well, I have three, but I mean it takes two. So hopefully I get some more smithing stone fives here. That'd be nice. Alright, could drop down there, but let's take care of the upper paths first. As eventually I probably won't be able to access them again. Well, then again, I don't know, maybe there's like a wraparound to come back up. Guess I'll find out. Okay, who here is going to attack first? That guy's sitting down probably, and anyone who's in here. Oh nice. That's nice to take out. Bolt Drake Talisman 1. Nice miss on my part there. That was definitely the right way to go. Uh, I don't think I need to say anything about it. It's the Bolt Drake Talisman, but better. It's for lightning negation, so... I think that's probably enough, right? You guys get it. I don't need to say anything else. Yeah, something that we will end up talking about, too, is all the lightning and worship of it, so that'll be interesting. Alright, Smithing Stone 5. Nice. This should be another one back here, I'm guessing. Yeah. 3. Doing good. Doing good. And that looks like everything in this spot. I guess I could do an attack here just in case, but I doubt there's an illusory wall in this dungeon. There! No. <laughs> Always worth checking. There are some that have really important illusory walls, so you never know. Unless you have it totally memorized, I guess. Alright, cool. Drop down here. Instead of all the way down. So I can get the uh, backstab. And then again, it might actually be faster to kill him without doing a backstab. But I get my health back, you know? Makes it so much worth it. Another smithing stone. Nice. Smithing stone 5 from the corpse. Smithing stone 5 there. And this was the dungeon I wanted to be at before. Yeah, these tunnels are so great. Okay, before I drop down there, actually, I'm going to instead drop down on the house, because, you know, there might be something, even though I doubt it. My doubts were justified. Nothing. Nothing! Any dogs here? Any dogs? No? Somber Smithing Stone 4? Okay. 
Bam! That didn't do as much damage as I was hoping it would. Oh my god, oh my god, it's the gank. It's the gank factor. Oh, it's a lot of them, okay. Oh, I thought they were gonna keep running at me, hence why I just did what I did. No, get away. Get away, ye. No, 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 that's not good, okay. Factor, the gank factor, can't keep on going. I heard the ding noise and it's like, oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. All right, I think I can start talking again. I. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Pretty bad series there. Uh, I probably could have handled that better, but clearly I wasn't, so. All right, I know to the left now there's gonna be an enemy here. Oh, it's this guy. He's the guy who decided to get involved. I also know there's a dog, I think, on the other side who might decide to get involved at some point. But yeah, so. A couple, a couple bad handles there, but, you know, got through it. Got through it, for now. Unless I die and have to do it all over again. Oh, here we go. Here's the dogs who decided to join in. Interesting that they didn't... They haven't been earlier. Troll's Hammer. Alright, let's take a look at the Troll's Hammer. Shall we? Trolls are descended from the giants. There we go. Alright. And these were supposedly once used as ceremonial smithing tools. In the distant path, smithing was considered divine. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting that it was considered divine, so... I wonder if that would make trolls, you know, that would really level up how people felt about them if trolls were so good at smithing, or when they helped out in that way. Because you have stone digger trolls too, clearly, that we found. So, yeah, it makes me wonder if that hierarchy there. Whereas now they, they seem like nowadays they're more like akin to slaves. But, uh, I, I feel like at least that's saying that they had a lot more respect in the path. The path, the past. Alright, I'm trying to figure out which way is the wrong way, so I know which way is the right way, you know? Oh, that's the wrong way, okay. <laughs> oh, maybe this is why I didn't remember the dungeon, is because it's a pretty small one, as it turns out. Hopefully, well, wait, wait, let me see how many smithing stones I have. Seven, perfect. Alright, I'm good, I'm good. I don't need any more. I mean, I'm still gonna keep exploring, it's just nice to know that I don't have to freak out if I don't find another one. Alright, dog... Fine, you can come first. I'm not, I'm not gonna let another crazy gank happen again after last time. I thought I saw another knight guy over there to the left, unless it was just this guy sitting down. I guess it was. And all these barrels are really just here for him to explode on me. Cool. Dope. All right, smithing stone five. Hey, a whole bunch of smithing stone fives. I am definitely more than set with those, so that's nice. Wait a second. Yeah, I think it, like, takes two, four, and six. I was thinking, like, wait, I had seven before. What if you need eight? But, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two, four, six. Their armor was glinting. It's so shiny. Hmm. Is the boss going to be a Crystallian? Is it going to be another Stone Digger type of thing? Ah, another Stone Digger troll. Okay. That, wow, I'm doing some nice damage. I'm actually kind of shocked at the damage I'm doing to him. Maybe that's why this dungeon didn't ring a bell. I mean, like, I remember the name. It's just, uh, just because, like, I'm sure if I'm doing this much damage now, when I initially went to this dungeon, I was doing even more. Bam! Nice. Because I think I was a higher level when I started exploring this area. Great club. Great. Well, great then. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the Great Club compared to the Troll Club. An enormous club of hard wood, wildly hammering foes with this striking weapon requires no dexterity, only brute force. While it may seem sacrilegious, this weapon is said to be a withered branch of the Erd Tree. Oh, interesting. Imbued with holy power, this weapon will never snap. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that would seem sacrilegious, but... Then again, you know, doing stuff 
apparently is the vine with mining or smithing, or maybe it you know was the vine. Maybe it's one of those things where you know religions kind of bend and break the rules when they want to sometimes, for whatever's convenient to them. It might be that sort of case here. It's like ah eh, well it's convenient to me so it's all good, it's all good. Pretty sure there really isn't anything along that path to the right. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but I could be mistaken, so what I'm going to do is head up this way, get the Site of Grace, and then at that point, I will continue onwards to, uh, the, the section here. Okay, this is not working how I was hoping. No, I actually didn't know I had to, like, drop down. I thought there was, like, I think there's, like, a little tunnel over here that you're supposed to take. Oh, shh. Oh, hey, I missed that. Explosive stone clump. Okay. I guess I could just start it right here, because I'm sure the... The grace that I've lost is, like, right by. I... Oh, yeah, there's the tunnel I was thinking of. Great job, me. Great job. And... Oh, there's my lost grace. The table of my lost grace. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd survive that fall, but I, clearly I was wrong. Clearly. And what you got for me? Golden Rune 3. Thank you. Altus Bloom? I don't know if I looked at Altus Blooms. It might be interesting to look at, actually. Where is it? My materials. Altus Bloom. A golden tinged flower from a succulent plant that blooms on the Altus Plateau. Said to be a funeral flower in an era long past before the Erd Tree grew. Huh. So the Erd Tree divined it, gave it divinity. Or, I mean, I don't know. They probably just used it for funerals beforehand, and then the Erd Tree maybe made it more beautiful. And that altered how people perceived it. Could just be something like that. Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot. I guess this dungeon doesn't have a Sight of Grace until you actually enter it. Yeah, this dungeon is, uh. A little rough. I mean, just because of all the poison, but it's not like this spot of the poison. It's like once you actually get inside some of the... I don't know. There's just like one specific enemy who you probably know who I'm talking about that I always have trouble with in here. But I thought it would be good to go here first because you get the Valk Valkyrie prosthetic here. And that way I can keep on working on uh, Millicent's questline. So that's really what I'm trying to do here. Alright, we're gonna ignore you guys then, actually. And then hop in this dungeon. Alright, Shaded Castle. There might be another entrance, this is just the one I know. Hey you. I got a surprise for you. You're welcome. I, I really thought hard about what to give you and I thought you'd like it. Just like Okay, uh, yeah, this is the way back up, maybe, I don't know. Welcome to a whole lot of poison, and honestly, probably enemies I can just ignore and not worry about. Uh, I'll ignore these guys too. I'm not worried about you guys, see? I'm not worried about them. Okay, I can't go up there. Uh, will that let me go up there? Okay, that worked out. I don't think there's even anything up here. I'm just... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I was so wrong. Okay. And I even know where this uh, the artist is for the champion song painting. Okay, well, hey. As it turns out, good thing I, uh, I did go down there. Cool. And, yeah, I think that's, like, everything in that spot. Not gonna worry about you guys just yet. And there's my Sight of Grace that I was looking for. Although, yeah, probably some enemies on the way first. You know what? Before I rest at it, let me actually destroy these guys and finish exploring this side because I'm not going to come back to it. And also, I am going to go ahead and level up my sword a couple times. So, you know, there's that. Poison Bloom. Okay, I think, I think that's everything in this spot other than you. So, alright. Let's go back to the... What? Why can't I warp? Who's here? 
Where's the enemy? Who is it? Who would be? I see nobody. Nobody. Well, this will help. Uh, hopefully leveling up. I I'm just going to do it. Even then I'll drop some runes if I need more. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes! Give me that strength finally. It's been a while. The Shaded Castle Ramparts. Okay. But back to the Table of Lost Grace. I wonder... Hmm. Will anyone have anything new to say to me? Maybe? Maybe. Eh. Roderica? Are you here for spirit? There's something I should know. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the crafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Yeah, that makes it sound pretty horrifying. I can hear uh, it for howling. You should keep. I know you. Sh okay. Yeah. Thanks, Roderica. I'll look into it because you warned me not to. Well, I took you for dinner. No matter. Lay out your arms then. Does he have anything to say about it? I guess not. Okay, cool. Strength and armaments. Yes, please. Strength and armament. Oh, no, I don't have enough monies. Who would have ever seen that happen after I leveled up a little bit? Definitely not me. I, I did not see that coming whatsoever. Let's use three just to be safe, even though I think two would have been enough. Yeah, two definitely would have been enough. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Who cares? All right, strengthen it again. Nice. This weapon is becoming the best. So let's go see who she's talking about. That's even more horrifying in a lot of ways. Could it be Sir Gideon Offner, the All-Knowing? To the capital, Landell, to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring. Uh, okay, I thought he might have other things to say to us. Also, I'm gonna have to do the... I think it was finally patched in the Feli Luz quest. I'm gonna check my own game, but to my understanding, that was actually patched, which is nice. And now this door's open. Oh, hooray! Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I don't think you deserve quietude. So here's the dung eater. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Whoa! I asked you not be thankful of the halts. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Them's fighting words. You're lucky. You're the lucky one. Dung Eater. What a name, too. I'm just keep insulting you. Yeah, so Dung Eater is another one who leads to an ending. And same with Gold Mask, actually. So a lot of the NPCs that you hear at the beginning, Fia... Dung Eater, um, Fear the Deathbed Companion, Dung Eater, Gold Mask, their quest lines lead to alternate endings. And the other two are important for the main ending. Um, but it's just interesting. That, I, I mean, it makes sense that those would be related to the main ending. Something else I actually wanted to touch on. How do I get over there? I wonder. Do you know? Perfumer? Clearly, I. Didn't remember this was a perfumer, but now I know. Thanks to him spewing out perfume at me. Depraved perfumer robe. Hey, speak of the devil. All right. Hey, I wonder if this might be a way to get over to that thing. I'm sure there's a smarter way. 
Let me look at the depraved perfumer robe, though, first before I forget about it. Okay. The embroidery on the apron is itself a curse upon the Erd tree. These heresy inclined perfumers imbibe their own spices to alter body and mind. Their slow descent into self destruction is what earned them their name. So I wonder who they do hail to then. I mean, maybe if it's here in this area, it would make sense that it might be Rykard. But yeah, I'm honestly not sure. Yet. I mean, we'll definitely discover, I'm sure. Okay. Well, that worked out fine, I guess. I'll just have to eventually figure out how to get there. I'm probably just going to be poisoned a little bit here. Uh, luckily, I know where the next side of Grace is, so it's kind of like a... It is what it is sort of thing. Is that going to allow me to go up there? I don't think so. I don't think so. I guess it's a drop for later on. Or perhaps right here. <laughs> no, not right here. This seem possible, right? All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine. I'll do this the right way, I guess. By taking out you, and then taking out you with your vengeful wraiths, and taking out you. I don't know why you guys are so vengeful. You had nothing to be vengeful about until I came here, until Kita entered your world. So, okay, that's all good with that side. I think the tree is well explored other than that item, which I'm just going to have to drop down from above to get. And I'll have to remember about that. Yeah, this is actually a pretty easy run through this specific spot once you get it down and once you've explored everything. Oh, smithing stone four. Okay. Kind of tells me I'm probably in an area I should be able to handle. So those, those drops actually do help you, just telling you that. Although, am I in an area that I can handle well? Eh, it's debatable. <laughs> just because of what I know, I don't know, there's only one enemy here, or two I guess, that I'm like, oh my god. Oh nice, that actually worked out better than I was expecting it to, to be honest. So, alright, cool, I can go ahead and explore this rampart now. No more perfumers. I'm against them. If you guys are too depraved, if you weren't depraved, it'd be okay. You're just sending out these weird stenches, like fart perfumes, like B.O. perfumes, foot perfume. According to my wife, she was reading a study that apparently the most horrendous stench to us is a chemically made compound that they use to make apple juice smell better. <laughs> so, and one of the ones that's the best smelling to us is something, a chemical compound that they use to make ah, orange juice smell sweeter. But it's just interesting that they infuse like something that smells apparently god awful to us to help with the smell of apple juice. It's very weird to me. Gotta love science. All right, you, I should have backstabbed. But I figured you wouldn't be able to get that far away, and I was wrong. Okay. Oh, perfumers always creating an annoying amount of distance where I can't close in on them. And killing me, apparently. Okay. You're the one who caused all this. It was your fault. I was doing fine until you... Just fine. So you entered my life. What just hit me from behind? Is there a second perfumer I forgot about? Smithing stone fives now. Miranda powder, of course. That's what you guys would use. Okay, I guess that's it. It was just for smithing stone five back here. Um, there is a drop I noticed. Wait. I actually don't know if I ever really explored that way, to be honest, on my own, but... Anyways, there's a drop here, which would take me straight out of this area and back to the front, but I thought it was worth pointing out. Uh, you know, actually, maybe it's worth dropping down here to explore this section. Oh, basilisks. Very nice. Forgot. I mean, I don't know why I forgot they were in here when they were outside. It'd be obvious, but I kind of had forgotten. Okay, more basilisk party. No, 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 no. Nobody wants your death stench. 
You know, their breath's so bad it kills you. That's basically what the, what the lore of these basilisks are. Very stinky breath. It's official. Official lore right there. Whoa, what the... Oh, man. I didn't... For some reason, it felt like I hit a brick wall. <laughs> it's just like all of a sudden, he just, he just completely stopped moving, it felt like. Maybe I just didn't realize it was going to get that deep, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. Let's see if I can get around you. No. I can't. Okay. Just want to see what this is, man. I just want to see what this is. Is that so wrong? Smithing Stone 5. Oh, oh! You come to me, man. Keep on peering out of nowhere, Basilisks. Uh, you know, whatever. Let's see what's over this way. Yeah, they keep on just, like, kind of appearing. I guess that's, like, their thing here. That they're first invisible and then they'll appear on you. Uh, yeah. I, actually, I don't know if I explored this area on my own, so it's kind of interesting to me to do something that feels a little new. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine, then. Alright, left section explored. The right section, uh, I might not, I might come back to in a moment. I'm gonna get this Site of Grace first. Because, yeah, that section's awful. <laughs> That's why. <clears throat> I'm just throwing it out there. But I'm pretty sure, wait a second, I thought that this was, oh, you know what? I was thinking that this was right by the Site of Grace, but the Site of Grace is actually going to be um, over that way, straight up there. Yeah, that rampart area to the left there is brutal, and I actually, the one I'm at might be a closer side of grace, but I think there's a drop down that I'm going to go to anyways that will introduce me to the spot that I'm thinking of, so I'll, I might just take the natural drop down. Yeah, if I go straight to the right, hey, you, what are you doing, man? What you doing? Yeah, the Shaded Castle is kind of like a little mini legacy dungeon. It's sort of like uh, Fort Height? Not Fort Height. Whatever, one of the forts. A Purify Knight. Who, I realize these guys are definitely against Radon, because Radon has their spears stuck in him that he uses for his bow. Because uh, Radon is a G. Alright, this might be my Valkyrie prosthetic. Although, I felt like it was in a different spot. Oh, there it is. Okay, prosthesis. So that's what we're going to be giving to Millicent. Uh, key item here. Golden prosthesis once used by the one-armed Valkyrie. A masterwork of craftsmanship with practice and skill can be used as proficiently as a real arm. When Malay Marias, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. I do wonder if that's supposed to be Melania who used this prosthesis. Like, perhaps she used it before the war with Radon and lost it around then. Um, I mean, she has one when you find her, but it'd be interesting to me if that was, like, the, the case of it. So, it could be. Uh-oh. Wow, I can't believe I survived that, to be honest. I really thought that was going to be death. Um, I'm going to probably try to avoid this as much as I can because it's not poison here, it's Scarlet Rot, if I remember correctly. And while I'm okay with the poison, I ain't down with that Scarlet Rot because that will destroy you real fast. So, I'm going to do my best to avoid the Miranda Bloom here. It's amazing how, like, it really doesn't feel like you got that much of a boost, or you get that much of a boost when you level up your weapon. It shows to show how, like, just how many level ups you can get, because they have to balance it somehow, where you can keep getting level ups, but it just does, like, those little minor bumps, as major as it can sometimes feel. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything else down here. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And like I said, I really don't think there's a reason to kill that Miranda Bloom, so... This is just a top. Okay. All right. I guess nothing. 
If there's something I missed, uh, let me know, but I, I don't think there's anything there. I think it's just really a path to get here. Uh, oh yeah, apparently there was another thing I missed at Mount Gelmir, uh, ladder that I didn't notice from one of the spots, so I will go come back to that later. For sure. Once I do all the Mount Gelmir stuff and come back for the Volcano Manor, whole lot of Mount Gelmir that I gotta redo and reclaim. Okay, I'm not gonna drop off. I just wanna see if there's anything else here. Is this another entrance and way to enter here? Um, you know, it actually could be. It could be another entrance. Well, at least now I know what's over yonder. Like, I really need to go up. It looks like there might be a dragon battle over there. Oh, I see a, a giant guy. Looks like a golem on the ground. I'm, I'm missing one dragon heart in my main game. So I'm just wondering where it is. I'm trying to figure it out in my head. That's where I was like, oh, maybe it's a dragon up there. Maybe that's where I missed that. This is the drop I don't want to do, but I know I gotta do. Ah. Neutralizing boluses. That's nice. That's nice. I'm gonna try to get everything I can out of this spot before I fully commit to it. <laughs> oh, it's so rough. It's so rough over there getting that item. Even with me knowing, like, it's fast to run back, it's just. Brutal. Also, I don't think the enemy even stays dead, too. Alright. Anything else up here I want to do? Nope, there is not. So, here comes the fun. And by that, I mean the pain of one of these guys that I am terrible at. No, please. No, please. I feel like I'm already basically dead. Oh my god, I tried to dodge, and I missed the timing of it. Well, I mean, I'd already stacked up an R1, so that's where I got screwed. Oh my god. Yeah. Me. This is awful. I hate you guys so much. No! Okay. I'm trying to give myself that so I can get some healing going on. I hate you so much. So much. You are the worst. You are the worst thing ever in this game. Yeah. Oh, how did I not get him? How did I not get him? Get him! Okay. 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 Ghost Glove worth four. That was so worth it. <laughs> At least I can feel like I got it and I, I finished this little spot. Now I can move on. Now I can move on. All right. Beast blood. Sick. Good thing there's another one of them. Other than that, you know, the Shade of Castle is all good. <laughs> this is what I've been working Honestly, that one thing. And the next one is the purely the reason why I've been like, oh, do I want to come here yet? Should I? I don't want to embarrass myself to these shaded knight or whatever these guys are called. Don't want to embarrass myself to them. So, all right, I feel a little bit better now that one of them's taken care of. Ooh, looks like I'm gonna have to head up there soon. Uh, oh hey, all right, bridge. Yeah, I was thinking, felt like there could be a uh, illusory wall there. There's some that take multiple hits. I don't know if that's something they patched, but it was kind of just like an interesting find people found in the Volcano Manor. I think they've all been in the Volcano Manor, though, to my understanding. The, like, super illusory walls, as I'll call them. And it, I really am not sure if it was, like, intentional or not. And also, some people think it might have just been like clipping to the other side of how to activate an illusory wall. So, a little bit unclear with that stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this one to start this spot. 
Yeah, when I have these like wide open areas like this, I kind of like don't know exactly how I want to explore them and go about it. It kind of just throws me for a loop, if I'm being honest. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of Lane Dell. It's like so wide open and spread out and big. I like when the paths are a little more mazy, personally. But that's just me. I know that's just a very personal preference that I'm speaking of right there. Okay, so many zombies that I probably really am just wasting my time killing. Why are you spewing guts at me like that? What's with that? Uh oh. Actually, it turns out it's a good thing I was slowly healing. Well, I guess I'm just evening out now that I think about it, because I have that poison effect still on place. Right. Anything over here? No. Just the poison bloom. Ah, well. I'm glad I know. I'm glad I know. And, uh, you know, I should probably run up here and just quickly activate the Sight of Grace. So if I die, I have a quicker way to get back. That would make sense to me. Golden Rune 4, Sight of Grace. For some reason, my first time playing this area, I totally forgot about that. It was just running around like, where the hell do I go? And I, yeah, I don't know. It's funny, I just completely missed that area to the left there. Mm, okay. I didn't rest there just because I like the guys I killed to stay dead here. Just I don't, kind of helps me know what I've done and what I haven't done. And also, I have less people who are going to just ambush me in some sort of way, too, so. Alright, this is where I could have fallen down the middle. And let me take you out. From hey, that didn't work. That did not work. Smithing stone four. Okay. okay. Uh-oh. Get out of this poison, Kita. You gotta get out, man. Mm, all right. So, first goal is to run it and explore what's to the right here that I noticed earlier. Why, look, it's a perfumer. My favorite. We've been having some good times, you and I, perfumers. Yeah, I kind of took a risk, but I, I felt like I'd be able to get through there. Perfume bottle. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Okay. Let's check the other rampart. Hope I'm using the right term when I keep calling them ramparts. That all looks fine. I know there's also going to be the one I want to fall down to. Um, hey, hey, look, something I missed over there. Which side is this? Uh, oh, I entered that side. That's interesting that I missed that. Maybe I'll fall down there in a moment. Because I can at least warp back to the previous one. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! No, not two! Ah, oh, God! It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. No, 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 no! <laughs> okay. Who can I get the sneak up attack on? Who of you? You know, the nice thing about before was at least one of them was dead, and now none of them are dead, so... You know, that's, uh, that's great. That's, uh, some great stuff. Oh, I guess I somehow managed to kill... Nope, never mind, he just disappeared on me. Wait a second, which one did I get the attack on? Oh, he was healing! Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, they have heals. Great, they're both healing. Perfumers! So much the worst. All right. At least I got him that time. Miranda Powder and a Smithing Stone 5. Dream come true. Dream come true. All right. So I missed that item up there, interestingly. Uh, I also think... I know there's going to be a fall at some point for that other item that I missed, but I'm not sure exactly where. All right. Let's see. Where is this going to lead? I can fall in the middle. 
Yeah, I, I was just kind of thinking, like, maybe this would take me to that one item that I missed. But, uh, is it? Let's find out. Let's keep on trekking up here and see if perhaps it's a cool path. Yo, path, you're cool, right? You're cool. You know, you're cool. Oh, this is the intro area. So, I guess I just missed, like, an item in the intro area that I started at. Uh-huh. It doesn't look like I can jump any higher up here, though, so... Although, this does definitely look like the area I'm supposed to go to for that item that I missed. Where is it? <laughs> I know it's somewhere around here. Uh-huh. I'm, ba I'm by that tree. Okay. Oh, wait. Was that it? There it is. Okay. Maybe over here is going to be the way to get there. Yeah! That was terrifying. This looks like it. All right. Wow, what an interesting way to get there. A stone sword key. That's nice. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go back to the castle in the inner gate. Because I got some things to finish up, and obviously that item on the side. And I'll probably finish the Shaded Castle next episode, I think. This is another one where I've died a bit, so I'm not sure how long it's going, but... I, I know I'm not quite at an hour yet, or I'm guessing. Unfortunately, this is going to be my, my hell right here. Another one of these bastards. At least it's not in poison, I guess. That's like the one thing I can say. At least it's not in poison. Doesn't really matter for them. They still mess me up. Anyways, oh no, no! That's how did that go so far? That poison. Oh, you are a nightmare, an actual nightmare. And then I got this smoke guy just hanging out. Oh, great. No! Oh, no. I was hoping it'd be one more attack, and it wasn't. And I was like, oh, God, that could kill me. The fact that I got greedy on that. Oh, no, 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 no! <sighs> Scary. Sacrificial twig, another ghost glove worth four. Not worth it. I really need to get better at killing them. I really need to just, like, go to that one boss one at a low level and just get used to their patterns. Well, good thing I got... I lost all of my runes. Uh, that's what I wanted. That's... that's good. <laughs> um, but hey, you know what? These... these were the two parts I was worried about for this dungeon, so I'm pretty happy that I wrapped that up. The thing is, I don't think there's actually anything over here, either. I think it's just a dead end. Yeah, because that's just a fall and a drop. So as far as I can tell, there's no actual reason to do any of what I just did. Although, you know what I should do, just because I'm curious, is use Margit Shackle, if I have it. I don't know if I ever bought it, though, but... If I did... Okay, I'm not seeing it. Um, If I did, I would have just used it just to be like, okay, let's find out if there's any <laughs> spots I don't know about. Any little secret areas. So, okay, well, that said, I can climb up to the right here, and I, I hadn't explored this upper left area. And then I'll go ahead and fast cut it to go get that one item that I missed that I was noting before. Yeah, it's just these guys up here. I really think that's it. I think that's all that's up top here. So, you know, gotta get it all fully explored. I do it for you guys. Alright, I'm gonna fast cut or fast forward something. Ha! That was a fun jump. This actually might be my death. Ah, oh, okay, lucky me. And here we go. Item I missed is up there. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. I That damn ambush. Wow, that really screwed me over. Hopefully not permanently. Okay. Still alive. Whew. Golden Rune 6 and another depraved 
perfumer's robe. So, all for a golden rune six. Very nice. Very nice. You know what I want to do, actually, before I wrap this up? I really want to see, because I, I really don't know, and it's been making me curious, what is on the other side of them? I have been wondering. So, maybe I'll just really quickly do that. And then, next episode, I'll finish up the Shaded Castle, because I'm curious now. It's on my mind. Okay, so, let's see. I want to check out this, and then especially that other side over there. Because, like I said, I really, really don't think I have. What wonders will I find? Hmm. Okay, Golden Roa. Now that, that is what I was hoping for. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything on this side, particularly, but it's the other side that made me really curious. Wait, is this gonna... This looks like it might be a dead end, and I'll just have to warp around. And... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna warp and I'll, I'll quick cut it. Okay, left side now. That was definitely much faster. Ah, yes, Miranda Bloom. That's probably Crimson Rot related. Yeah, they're all Crimson Rot. Ooh. Goodbye. Right, more importantly, what is this? Oh, look, a graveyard. A bunch of statues. Okay. There's the golem that I noticed before. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? Oh, hey. Alright. That's cool. It's interesting I'm still allowed to use Torrent. Usually they don't let you when there's an invader. Antspur, Rapier, and Marias Mask. Okay, Marias and Antspur. I'll try to remember that. Marias and Antspur. Marias Antspur. Oh god. Oh god! Nope. Rias Asper. I'm right now I'm really just trying to remember what that was. This guy's just kinda like a side thing to me now. Alright. Marias and Ansper. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. At first I was tapping Y, but yeah. It... You know what? Whatever. I didn't. I didn't need to get the critical on you. Golem. You're just trying to make it so I can't remember what items I got. I know. I know what you're really up to, Golem. Bias and Spur. Any drops from you? No. Alright. Let's look at these. So, Anspur was a weapon. And Marias were helmet and something else. There it is. Ant Spur Rapier. Spur of a giant ant which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with Scarlet Rot. Scarlet Rot is an old legend of which Malay Marias of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. And indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Oh, that would explain why he uh, grabbed the Valkyrie uh, prosthesis then. So that's interesting. Um, it's interesting Scarlet Rod is an old legend too, so... It makes me wonder how old it is, because I think it all comes from America, basically. But, let's look at Mariah's mask. Mask in the image of a white-haired young noble, customarily worn by the head of House Marias. Increases arcane. The Marias family has a dual history spanning generations, serving as both executioners and castellans of the Shaded Castle. This mask bears the likeness of the first of their line. And there's going to be a Marais armor set, which might have something different. A oh, robe. Robe with a black mantle across the shoulders. The sons of House Marais are all sickly born. Little wonder that Malay Marais would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born in Dorat. Alright, alright, that's cool. That's actually some really nice backstory in the 
Malay Marias and why he believed what he believed and where it came from, you know? Because they're all sickly and it's like, oh, here's like this goddess who seems to have tamed it in a way. Um, yeah, so cool stuff. Well, I'm glad I went over here. That was really worthwhile for some fun lore stuff that I need to now do my main game. Yeah, I think, I think that looks like everything. I mean, I know there's this little side over... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Starlight Shard over there. Guess I'll do that. Get that Starlight Shard. Yeah, I think I was in such a rush before to get through. At times while I was playing, sometimes I miss little things like that that normally I get curious about and explore. Okay, I'm going to head back to the Shaded Castle Inner Gate. And next episode, we're going to finish the Shaded Castle. And, uh, let's see. So next episode will be finish up the Shaded Castle, and I'm sure from there I'll have a bunch of time, so I'll probably head back to the Altus Highway Junction, find out about that invisible guy that you guys told me about, and then I guess probably like head up through this path now and across and do all this stuff. Also, I got to go back to Millicent and give her, um, give her that prosthesis, so that'll be next episode as well. So I'll continue Millicent's quest line, Brother Korn's quest line, and probably do a bunch of this and head into this area later on, I think. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Hey. Later, guys. Peace.